everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with another unhaul video. I have a total of 10 books that I'm getting rid of, so I figured I would share them with you before I bring them to the thrift store or try to sell them or whatever it is I'm going to try to do with these books. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have may come to a surprise for a lot of you because this is like my favorite series ever, 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 but it is Radio by Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is the second book in the Vinyl Trilogy. I own them all. This one was a misprint where the spine doesn't actually line up with the rest of the book. So it's kind of just been sitting on my floor for the past like six years. So I'm going to give it away so that somebody else can read it because I absolutely love, love, love this series so much. So I want other people to read it because nobody reads this series and you really should because vinyl is such a good series. I'm just saying. The next book that I have is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. I read this recently and it was just such a big disappointment. I thought I was really going to like it. I know that a lot of people had mixed reviews on it, but I was convinced that I was going to like it, but I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, and the rule for my shelves are if I give a book 3 stars or less, then it has to go back to the thrift store. So that's what's happening with this. The next book is Elevator Pitch by Linwood Barclay. This is another one. I gave 3 out of 5 stars, so it has to go back to the thrift store. I will say that the book is very slow, but there are a lot of plot lines that you have to try to follow, but they are all woven together very, very well. So if you are into books that have a lot of plots that are all somehow related to each other, then I do recommend this. It was really interesting to read. I just didn't care about any of the characters or anything. So yeah, three out of five stars going to the thrift store. Next up is Shine by Jessica Jung. This is another one. Three out of five stars has to go back to the thrift store. It was entertaining, but I didn't like the girl on girl hate in it. And I am not the biggest fan of K-pop. I literally know nothing about it. So I don't think the book was written for me because it had a lot to do with like the K-pop industry. And I just don't care because that's not what interests me. But I think that a lot of people would really like it because I know a lot of people on booktube are big k-pop fans so don't take my three out of five stars to mean that it's a bad book because it's definitely not it just wasn't for me next up is orphan monster spy by matt killeen and this one i gave a three out of five stars again i just thought it was very average i know that i am the unpopular opinion for this book because there are very high reviews on goodreads for it i don't know if i just wasn't in the mood for a historical fiction world war ii kind of situation book going on. I'm not the biggest fan of historical fiction in the first place. So yeah, I was just bored with it. I didn't care about any of the characters, which I feel like in a war book, you really should care about the characters. And I just didn't. So going to the thrift store. Next up is The Project by Courtney Summers. I was very disappointed in this one because I thought it was going to be a five out of five stars for me and it just wasn't. It's a cult book. I love cults so I was convinced five out of five stars. I love Sadie so much but this one was just not for me which is unfortunate so off to the thrift store. Next up is Dividing Eden. This is by Joelle Charbonneau and I gave this another three out of five stars. I thought the concept sounded really really cool. I thought it was going to be really interesting but I hated 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 the two main characters and I just could not get behind what was going on. I just hated them so much so I did not like this book so yeah three out of five stars I'm getting rid of it. Next up is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Another one I gave three out of five stars. Basically this whole unhaul is three stars or less. Like that's really the only reasons why I'm getting rid of these ones. A lot of them were just three star reads. So this is another one. It was very average. I did not care about the characters. It was said that it is supposed to be very rich in Chinese folklore. There literally was no Chinese folklore other than the characters names in this. So it was just kind of a disappointment. So yeah, three out of five stars, thrift store. Now we're getting into the books that I did not like very much. The first one is My True Love Gave to Me. I gave this a two out of five stars I believe. It was boring. I did not like any of the short stories other than Jenny Hans and Stephanie Perkins which two out of twelve stories is not enough for me to keep this book so. And then the final book that I have that I'm getting rid of is Words in Deep Blue by Kath Crowley. I gave this a 
two out of five stars as well, I believe. It just wasn't for me. It was boring. I didn't like any of the characters except one that was a minor character in it. I wish that the book was just about George, who is the main character's little sister. She was just far more interesting than the two main characters, so yeah. Alright everybody, so that was my unhaul video for today. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!